a couple of members of the Cheddar Morsh group, uh, Gail Wacko, one of them, saw this sketch on the wall and said, that would be perfect for our upcoming anniversary. And I kind of hemmed and hawed about it, and I thought, well, because in my mind it was going to be the different regions of Ukraine. And I thought, well, yeah, this would work because you've done different regions of Ukraine, different eras. I could, I could turn this into a really spectacular piece for Chernomorsh. So that's sort of how it evolved. And then the process was another step. <laughs> Larissa Zambolyuk Chalada. I really wanted to um, research it and find out what came when and what order. And so I sat down with uh, a couple of the costume mistresses and with Gail Wacko and, and with Kevin Zarsky who have good memories of actually wearing these costumes. And, and we went through and photographed everything we could find from the very beginning. Gail went and found the very first uh, girl's costume worn on stage in 1969 um, by Luba Bell. So we have that very first costume from the very first concert and I featured it in the very first part of the painting and then all the way through and um, you know I've, I've got all these photographs side view front view close up of the embroidery just so that when I got into the drawing and sketching part I could have something to choose from so after photographing all the artwork I then cut them out and put them in a chronological order so I could just get a sense of how they would go and then each one of those costumes, I have a, uh, I call it an inspiration board. And so that I can now go, and when I'm painting that costume, I can zero in on the exact embroidery or the, uh, the color, so I make sure that I've got the right color for that, how it hung, sometimes a couple of different variations of how, how it hung, so, and from that I worked on the sketches as well. So that was the next step, and then I went through and weeded out which ones I was definitely going to use and which ones not. It was originally going to be six panels and then it became seven and then I'm actually going to three new costumes are being made for this concert and they will be in the final panel. So it's turned into an eight panel painting. I actually worked from pencil sketches from Ukraine and seeing the actual costumes the day they arrived. After having the inspiration boards I then did a sketch on a piece of paper that was a workable size that I could fit everything in, see how it was going to fit, uh, what pieces I wanted where. I labeled everything so that there's there's little notations to myself so I remember what was where and why I'd, why I chose it to be like that or in that position. And this is the section I had approved at this point. From there I enlarged to full size sketches to get a feel for it and to see how how busy it was going to look. Is this going to work okay? And so I I did it at that stage. So I have all eight panels sketched out just in pencil. It was difficult for me to envision these panels so that there wouldn't be a break between each one. And I have that sketch, my final sketch. This um, was a black and white version of exactly the panels and then how they would look next to each other and I had to fake in between where where they would cross the frame and put in an extra piece of clothing to make it fit and make it look like it's just one large wardrobe. The other thing I really had to consciously make a decision to do was to be accurate to the colors of the costumes um, because I realized those very first costumes 40 years ago were not actually costumes. Those dancers borrowed clothing from their grandparents. So they were wearing the heavy wool skirts, the wraparounds, the heavy linen blouses that were super embroidered with... They were heavy, they were hot, um, they were true to the natural dyed, dyed colors, so they were very earthy looking colors. Nowadays they are true theatrical costumes. They're lightweight, they breathe, they flow on stage, but they're also colors that in the closet could be fuchsia or lime green, but under the lights of the stage, they look natural. So I've painted them true to the closet color. So the painting goes from natural, organic, earthy colors through to the really um, more modern colors. It's interesting working on this big of a project. I've done lots of individual paintings this size,
like for each of these panels, but not the whole big thing. Each of these panels I um, sketched out. Then I've put in a lot of the black and whites, how I want the shadowing to be. And then I layer the color on over top. And then finally it will be the um, all that detailed embroidery. Sixty-nine through two thousand and ten.